Maths. It has been at the core of human civilization over the past millennia. With its wonderful equations, signs, and symbols, maths was and still is the most universally recognizable language. Whether you're a high school student in Australia, a teacher in Japan, a doctor in India, or an engineer in Mexico, you can still all understand these amazing characters despite not speaking each other's languages. One of the most recognizable symbols in mathematics is pi, which can easily be understood by many different people across our world. Pi, or 3.14159, is the ratio between the circumference of a circle and its diameter. It is a fascinating figure in maths, but perhaps the most amazing aspect is that pi was independently discovered by many different civilizations, such as the Greeks, the Indians, and the Chinese, despite the very limited connection between them. So how does maths affect our modern day world? There are currently over 7,000 different languages being spoken around the world. Around 150 of these languages have a sizable speaking population between 100,000 up to a billion speakers. If we only take into consideration the top 200 most spoken languages, there is an unbelievable 39,800 different language translation pairs. How do you get such a big number? Well, using permutations, you can calculate this by using 200p2, as you are picking two languages from the total 200, and the order of translation matters. For example, German to French is different than French to German. These pairs can range from English to Japanese, German to Hindi, Swahili to Arabic, Thai to French, and so forth. Imagine the logistical nightmare of this, on soldiers fighting in foreign war zones, young ambitious travellers, teachers with foreign students and diplomats negotiating treaties and agreements. But it does not have to be like this. Recently, advancements in the field of mathematics, as well as technology, have allowed us to improve communications between different languages. One type of technology that is improving communications is translation programs. Translation technology is very complicated and sophisticated. However, it can be easily explained using mathematical algorithm. Take Google Translate as an example, the most widely used language translation program in the world. First, Google Translate's head data processor collects raw data. The data is collected from translation done by humans. For example, when Romeo and Julia was translated from English to Japanese, Les Miserables was translated from French to Polish, or when the Bible was translated from Italian to Russian. The program systematically analyzes the data to identify patterns to interpret the grammar, vocabulary, and sentence structure of the language. As more data is collected, these rules are constantly updating. This improves the accuracy of the program over time, which is why Google Translate is more accurate in 2018 than it was in 2012. After being analysed, each translation is stored as a combination of 128 numbers, between negative 1 and 1. For example, the number code for the word mathematics could be negative 0 0.1234, 0 0.2468, 0 0.1357, and negative 0 0.11111, and so on. When someone tries to translate a sentence, for example, our world needs maths, from English into Chinese, through the neutral species, the machine will determine the number code for that phrase. The computer then does the same process in reverse to translate the code of numbers back into Chinese, which displays the translation on the screen. This amazing process enables humans to communicate despite a language barrier, allowing people to express their opinions, love, and beliefs to everybody in our world. All thanks to maths, the ultimate universal language. That is why more than ever, our world needs maths. Not just because what maths has done for us, but rather the incredible things maths will do to advance our society.